What's going on everyone? I am in Newton County, Indiana, near Fair Oaks Farms on a gloomy, misty, 50 degree day. And I guarantee you it is not 50 degrees and raining in Key West, Florida right now because that is my destination. I'm going to be headed south all the way to the southernmost point of the United States there in Key West. But along the way, you know, we got to see cool stuff. We got to see our friends. And my first stop will be Greencastle, Indiana, to see my buddy Marv. I've been trying to see Marv on this whole trip, and I'm finally going to see him, hang out with him, maybe a night, maybe two nights, who knows? Marv's a lot of fun. Definitely looking forward to that. And some more of my friends, Charlie and Kim out in Delaware. Well, I'm not going to see them along the trip but I do got to give a shout out and a huge thank you to them because they donated $100 cash to me for the Key West trip and I'm extremely thankful for that. It's definitely going to help. It's a long way down, a lot of fuel, definitely going to be some stays, probably a couple hotels, but again, thank you for that. Uh, we're really not going to see too much today on the route to Mars. There's not a whole lot in this area, so I'm about to jump on the highway, get there quick, Get out of this weather. Let's do it. Good morning, everyone. We're out in Greencastle, Indiana. I'm hanging out with my buddy Marv and Marv and Patty's place here. And they put me up last night. We had a good time, had a bonfire. And today we're gonna do some riding. Marv, where are we gonna be riding to today? Well, I'm gonna take you down to Crambo's. That's my local bike shop. Okay. I'm proud of them. And, and then we're gonna go see the House of Bells. Awesome. And we're gonna go see the Grave Mill Road. Grave in the middle of the road. Yeah, I've been wanting to see that one a while. That's Nomi barking there, good dog. And uh, gonna be a good time. We got pretty good weather, it's dry. We just got to Crambo's Motorcycle Shop here in Manhattan, Indiana. This is Marv's local shop. Always support local when you can. This used to be an old Texaco gas station and he's got to convert it into a shop. So we're going to check it out and uh, meet the guys here. Should be a good time. Me and Marv just rolled into Brazil, Indiana, and we're checking out Champ the Great Dane here at Great Dane Trailers. And Crambo's friend actually painted him, and when they shipped him over here, they had to cut his head off just to get him here, refiberglass it on, and paint it over again. So I met Marv on the Great American Convoy earlier this year with Adam Sandoval and I met a bunch of other great people, Chad, Crystal, Charlie, to name a few. And uh, Marv here, what, what kind of bike are you riding, Marv? Let, tell us about your bike a little bit. It's a 93 FLHTC, which is an electric glide classic. It's got 270, 227 miles on it. And, you know, I let Tucker look at it every couple years. He goes through there, everything it needs fixed. I just say, okay, and let him fix it. And that's what keeps it going. And you're not afraid to ride this bike anywhere, are you? 
I'll go anywhere because if it breaks down, I'll have to buy another bike because it ain't worth fixing <laughs> for <laughs> what prices of bikes go for these days. I'll ride it till it stops. All right. I like your style, Marv. Uh, Marv let me ride his bike out in Ohio, and I had a good time on it. It's definitely a little different than a road glide, but gets you down the road just the same. It'll go 80, 90 mile an hour just like everybody else. Okay. It'll get you in trouble. Yeah, I'm sure you see uh, Marv down the road. We're talking about doing a Lake Michigan circle tour trip here next year. So be looking out for that, and uh, we're going to keep on riding, checking out Indiana. Thanks for showing us your bike, Marv. No, oh, you're welcome. Me and Marv just showed up to the Bell House. It's also known as the Bell Farm here in Quincy, Indiana. This collection was started in 1950 and it consists of a lot of big bells, uh, battleship chains, there's windmills, there's these gigantic birds. It's all out in this quiet little country farm. A lot to see here. Check it out. So I told you this collection started in 1950. Check out this windmill is now a part of this tree. Not sure long how long this has been here, but it's definitely a long time. Up the other side. Wow, that is cool. How many bells do you think are here, Marf? Oh my God, it's well over 100. Quite a bit, it's quite the collection. Got this old house, seen better days, but pretty cool. So that's probably almost six inches diameter on them lengths. Wow. Me and Marv just rolled up to Route 67 Barn Grill, somewhere here in Indiana, I don't really know where. But we're gonna check that out and uh, I'll give you the review when I'm done. We just left Route 67 Bar and Grill, and that was a good spot. I got a Philly cheesesteak, and it was pretty good, pretty reasonable, and uh, good service there. They got free pool. We didn't really play any pool, but pretty cool. Now we got about a 40 minute ride to our next stop, and I'm not gonna spoil it just yet, but it's gonna be pretty cool.
me and Marv just rolled up to our final stop of the day here in Franklin, Indiana, Barnett Cemetery. And if you notice, I'm standing in the middle of the road. That's because the cemetery is right here in the middle of the road. Marv's right by it now. This is the grave site of Nancy Barnett, who was alive from 1793 to 1831. Nancy is buried here because she loved overlooking nearby Sugar Creek. She had a nice peaceful grave site here until one day the county decided to put a road right here. And there was a lot of different ideas and thoughts and eventually they settled on, well, just putting the road right around her grave. In 2016, some farm equipment damaged the grave and they decided to excavate and they found six additional bodies buried here with Nancy. It's unknown exactly who they were, but either way, still a cool, interesting place. And really glad I could come here with Marv, hang out with him, do some riding. Definitely having a blast. And speaking of riding, we got about an hour and a half ride to do back to the house, so we better get moving. time to wrap up the day and we all slept in a little bit and then we woke up and had some good coffee and hung out just had a good time chatting and then uh, Marv did some research and, and he's from this area anyway for a long time how long you lived here Marv Greencastle area 63 years Wow so he, just a couple years and uh, we went over to Crambo's check that out that was a cool shop and I uh, met the guys there, some cool bikes they're working on. Then we rode on over to the Great Dane uh, facility and checked out Champ there, 20 foot tall Great Dane dog. And uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, where do we go from there, Marv? We... Mm. To the Bells. Yeah, we went to Bell Farm. Checked out the Bells, yeah, Bell Farm. And that was really cool. That's just one of those one-of-a-kind unique things this guy's got quite a collection of stuff he does and, and it's it's been going for a long time just there, there's so many bells i don't know maybe over probably over 100 for sure different bells and mm -hmm. marvin patty like to take the grandkids there every once in a while his son still keeps it up yeah he's long passed away oh really yeah, yeah. and it, it's freshly mowed today it looked nice out there wow yeah it was nice nice <clears throat> mode and easy walking around and so we checked that out and then from there we went over to uh, Route 67 Barn Grill and I had a really good filly. How was your uh, chicken tenderloin Marv? It was delicious. Nice. Yeah that was a good stop absolutely and uh, I'll probably go seven and a half out of ten on that one for my review and uh, definitely would come back and then after that, we rolled on over to the Grave in the Road. And I've been wanting to go there for a long time, actually. I just never made it. That's my first time. It's not that far away. It's about an hour away. Yeah, that was a cool spot, too. Some interesting history there. And I don't know if there's anything else like that in the whole country. But definitely here in, uh, in Indiana. And, and we both saw it. Then we headed on back here to Green Castle to meet back up with Patty and she's keeping the fire going all day and now we're just relaxing having a good time out here by the pond so definitely a good solid day good weather and great company they've been taking good care of me here we had some good food had some s'mores last night nice warm fire uh, Marvin Patty have been such a huge supporter of me of all I'm doing they're always commenting Always watching, liking everything. I uh, really appreciate that.
October 23rd, 1933, public enemy number one, John Dillinger and his gang showed up here to Greencastle, Indiana, Central National Bank, and made the biggest heist of his 15 month robbery career. The robbery began at 2.45 p.m. Dillinger, Harry Pierpont, and Charles Fat Charlie Mackley entered the bank as Harry Copeland stood here at the Washington Street entrance. In an incredible coincidence, the bank guard had just left his post moments before they entered to go to the basement and stock the furnace. The plan was set in motion as Harry Pierpont asked the teller for change for a $20 bill who was busy doing paperwork and soon found himself looking down the barrel of a machine gun. Pierpont waves his gun in the air, orders no one to touch anything, Dillinger leaps over the marble counter, smashes the lock to the teller cages as Mackley orders everyone to the back of the bank. The gang would make a clean getaway with nearly $75,000 in cash. Adjusted for inflation in today's money, that's about $1.75 million. And it all happened right here. I really enjoyed my time with Marv and Patty at their place in Greencastle, Indiana. They showed me so much generosity, great hospitality from the time I got there to the time I left. We had so much fun just cruising around, the beautiful fall colors, all the sights, covered bridges, had fun just sitting around the campfire laughing, making s'mores, having a good time. And Marvin and Patty have become really good friends of mine, huge supporters of my channel, everything I'm doing on YouTube. Really got to thank them for everything they've done for me in this short time that I've known them. And just really thankful to have met them. And I've really met so many amazing people on this journey. It's, it's honestly incredible how many amazing, generous people I've met along the trip. And it's definitely not over. But... 
Hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a great time in Greencastle, Indiana. Thank you all for watching. If you like what I'm doing and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I will see you all on the next video. Thanks for watching.